I want to make uh, another video tutorial on uh, the use of a particular tool that uh, uh, is outside Wallis but still very useful to compile data if uh, not a lot of information is available on a site. Uh, this tool is called uh, IMCalc uh, for Indicative Meaning Calculator and it has been published by uh, Lorscheid and myself uh, in 2019, just last year. So this is the paper. You can find it open access uh, uh, where we explain the rationale behind this, uh, uh, this little software that we made. Basically, uh, we use wave and tidal data, uh, global atlases of wave and tidal data, uh, and relationships of different landforms uh, to these uh, um, wave and tidal data to calculate uh, where uh, the indicative range, so to quantify the indicative range of uh, uh, an indicator uh, when latitude and longitude are inserted. So in Wallis, you have it uh, here in the second page of the relative sea level. You go to elevation and paleo sea level and you see that you here you can select modern analog data or IM calc. Now, uh, modern analog data, you um, you can select it if you have um, a fairly good knowledge of the modern shoreline and you know, for example, uh, where beach deposits are forming today. So you can assume that beach deposits were forming more or less at the same elevations um, in the past. If not, you can download IM Calc uh, from Source, SourceForge. Uh, you can download it as a zip file. Yeah, I accept it. Um, I just downloaded it here. And I just want to show you how it works. You put it in a folder anywhere on your PC and you can basically, um, it opens up like that. To make it work, you have to navigate to uh, the coastal point data set, which we call CPD for short. Uh, this is basically all the wave and tidal data uh, that you have uh, across the world. So it opens up like this one. Uh, takes a bit to load the um, coastal points, but this is the main, uh, the main screen. So the only things that you need to make it work uh, in the basic uh, are latitude and longitude. Let me take these ones that are from a previous example that I, that I used for Mallorca. So latitude and longitude. I'm gonna copy and paste them here. Uh, then you can select which kind of indicator you have. For example, if you have beach deposit, you can select what you have. I'm going to check all these, uh, although it's not mandatory, uh, but uh, in, this, in this way uh, you can see, let me, let me make it bigger. In this way you can see what the, um, what the calculator does. If you have your own data on the modern analog, you can uh, insert them here and that will be calculated. If you have your own wave and tide conditions, you can insert them here and they will ta be taken into account in the calculation. You can also use a batch function to analyze many sites at a time. So if I press on calculate, uh, the little software tells me a few things. So the closest point where uh, data was taken was um, 1.3 kilometers away from it. So we can pretty much trust it. And it's telling me that the upper limit and the lower limit of the indicative meaning, in this case, the ordinary perm and the breaking depth for beach deposits were at 42 and minus 0 0.89 uh, meters uh, with respect to mean sea level. And from these two values, it calculates the indicative range and uh, reference water level. Here you can see the wave conditions that were extracted from uh, uh, that were extracted from uh, IM Calc. These are the wave limits. So these are uh, how um, the ordinary berm and the breaking depth were um, calculated. Of course, this is the same value as the upper and lower limit as we use them here, uh, and other uh, different uh, um, limits, the spray zone and storm waves wash height. So you can also compare these values of the ordinary berm and breaking depth uh, to your local area and see if they match. Um, for Mallorca, we found out that they match fairly well. So um, remember that this is taken from global models and from general considerations on how uh, uh, on how a beach is forming. So 
Uh, long story short, you can basically take these two values and go into Wallis and put them exactly here and the policy level will be calculated. Of course, if you want, if you're not working in Wallis, uh, you can also put your measurement elevation elevation measured here and they will be available and, and the relative sea level will be calculated as well. It's another column here. So uh, this is a little tool that might be useful uh, in different cases where not a lot of information is available. Uh, we hope it's going to help you out in uh, compiling the database. Thanks.